doctor has just sent me to examine your thyroid, um, which is a gland in your neck along here. Um, and I'll be having a look at your face as well as your hands to see if there's anything um, that we need to address. Um, for this examination, I'll just be having um, a look and a feel of your neck um, as well as your hands. And um, everything that we discussed today will remain confidential between you, me, and the treating team. Now, is that okay with you? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, great. So just confirming your full name. Yeah, Charlie Leung. Yep, and your date of birth? 21st of January 2000. Yep, and your age? I'm 21. And your occupation? I'm a medical student. Okay, and are you a Grand Provisional Torres Strait Islander origin? No. Okay, alrighty. So we'll get started if that's okay with you. Okay, so first just having a general inspection of the patient. So the patient's mood seems to be euthymic, um, no signs of abnormalities in weight, um, and no signs of frightening faces either. And at this time, I would also um, request vitals, um, specifically looking for a tachycardia and hypothyroidism. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a look at your hands, if that's okay. So can I just get you to stretch your hands out like this, sure. Charlie? Great, so I'm just going to put this piece of paper on your hands to see if there's any tremors. And no, no tremors, that's good. And can I just get you to do that again? I'm just going to have a feel. So no signs of warm or sweaty sort of hands. No signs of lunaculitis either. And I will check for palmy or edema as well. Um, no signs of nail changes. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a feel of your radial pulse. So that's normal, which is good, and I'm just going to check your reflexes as well. So first for the biceps, yeah. and then the triceps, yeah. and then the brachioradialis, and then finally the finger reflex. Okay, great, and I will repeat these steps on the other side as well. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to have a look at your face as well. So first, just having a feel for any warm and sweaty skin. Having a look at the eyes. Can I get you to follow my fingers with your eyes without moving your head? Yep, great. Yep, great. So no signs of ophthalmoplegia. And can I get you to follow my fingers again? Yep, and look into my nose. So no signs of lid retraction or lid lag. And I'm just going to have a look on the side. So can I just get you to stare straight ahead? And over. Yep, so no signs of exophthalmos and no signs of proptosis complications like any conjunctivitis, um, any corneal ulcerations, um, or any chemosis. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to have a listen of your heart as well as your lungs to see if there's any crackles, if there's any flow murmurs in there. Um, so, first, yep, just relax, we're gonna go with the heart. Now, can I get you to take a deep breath in and out through your mouth? Great. Yep. Yep. Can I get you to cross your arms? I'm just going to have a listen at the back. So, breathe in. And out. Great. And in. And out. Great. And in. detected and the lungs are all clear so that's good. So now I'm just going to have a look at your legs. So first can I get you to cross your arms for me and then stand up. Yep so no signs of pro proximal myopathy so you can sit back down now. Just going to get you to roll your pants up a little if that's okay. Sure. Yep. Just looking for pretibial myxedema and there's none and I'm also going to check your reflexes. Sure. So first the knees. And now I'm just going to check the ankle as well. So can I just get you to do this for me? Yep. Okay, great. So no abnormalities there. Okay, so just having a general inspection of the patient. So the patient is of normal body weight. Um, no signs of voice changes that I could hear. Um, and no signs of slow meditation or any mood disturbances, which is good. And I would also uh, request for vitals and specifically look for a tachy 
for bradycardia and hypothyroidism. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a look at your hands if that's okay. So first feeling for any cold, dry skin and you don't seem to have any, no signs of skin discoloration either. And I would also check for paler of the palmar creases. Um, I would check for um, signs of carpal tunnel syndrome. So firstly, can I just get you to do this for me? Yep. I'm just going to tap over here. Any sort of numbness, tingling? No. Any numbness, tingling? No. Okay, that's good. And can I get you to do this for me? Yeah. Yep, and hold for 30 seconds. Any numbness, tingling? <laughs> okay, great. So you could stop doing that now. That's good. I'm just going to have a feel of your radial pulse. Yep, so that's normal, which is good. And I'm just going to check your reflexes as well. So first for the biceps. Yep, and then triceps. And then the brachioradialis. And then finally the finger reflex. Okay, great. And I will repeat these steps on the other side as well. So now I'm just going to have a look at your face as well as your eyes, if that's okay. So first having a feel of the skin, so no signs of cool or dry skin, no signs of skin discoloration or thickened skin, um, no signs of eyebrow thinning and your hair seems to be fine as well, no signs of hair thinning, um, no signs of xanthelasma as well and no signs of pre-orbital myxedema. And can I just get you to um, stick out your tongue for me? Yep, so no signs of uh, tongue swelling either. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to tap over your chest to see if there's any um, pleural effusions, which is fluid collecting around your lungs. So first, can I just get you to cross your arms? And yep. Okay, so that sounds normal, no signs of pleural effusions. So now I'm just going to have a look at your legs. So I'm just having a look for any signs of non-pitting edema. And uh, yeah, no, not there. Now I'm just going to have a look at your neck, if that's okay, to see if there's any um, obvious abnormalities with your thyroid. So first, just having a look, no signs of abnormal swelling, so that would suggest a goiter. I'm just going to get you to swallow this water, if that's okay. Yep, no abnormalities there. I don't see a thyroid goiter. Can I get you to stick your tongue out as well? Yeah, okay, no abnormalities in thyroid um, gossel ducts. And can I just get you to point your arm, arms out like this? Yep, and hold. Alrighty, no signs of Pemberton sign and no scars there either, which is good. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to have a feel um, over your thyroid. So just having a feel for a gland in your neck. Okay, great. And can I get you to swallow again if that's okay? Yeah, so the size and shape is normal. Normal consistency, no tenderness. Have you felt any tenderness along these regions? No. And normal mobility as well, which is good. I'm just going to have a feel over the trachea. Yeah, and I'm going to have a feel over the cervical lymph nodes, so submental, submandibular, pre and post auricular, and then occipital, as well as the superficial, deep and posterior, cervical. Can I get you to shrug your shoulders? Yep. Any tenderness there? I didn't feel any abnormalities, which is good. I'm just going to tap over the manubrium, which is a bone here. So just having a feel, yep. Yep, sounds hollow, no abnormalities there. And I'm just going to also listen for any bruise, which is abnormal sounds that are heard over the thyroid. Um, so can I just get you to hold your breath for me? Yep. Yep, great. You can breathe normally now, so no, um, no thyroid bruise, that's good. Okay, so that was it for our thyroid examination. I'll report my findings to the doctor. Thank you so much for your time and hopefully we'll get back to you soon.